everyone welcome back to my channel i'm really sorry if the lighting is dead awful i'm currently sat in the car um outside b m and i'm literally going here just to browse i don't have any money no god knows don't have any money at all but um i've got some bits that i want to look at mainly the christmas stuff because a little birdie or youtube has told me that they've got the christmas stuff in so i'm going to go and have a look i thought i'd take you along with me um if you're new here my name is Farry. i'm a mother of a two a nine year old and a nine month year old and i'm currently five months pregnant so yeah i'd love for you to stick around so please hit that subscribe button and yeah let's see what bnm have in store Hi guys, so when you walked in, they had loads of Christmas stuff, some really cute sort of figurines to put around your house. They had loads of Christmas scents. Um, and obviously I had to show my little one this globe. She wasn't too fast though, more interested in the camera. But yeah, so next we move on to the cleaning stuff. So they had all this um, like Christmas flash range and they had like a clementine smell, which smelled absolutely amazing. And the fresh eucalyptus by Mrs. Hinch. I've actually had the um, fabric conditioner. Is it my favorite? Mm, it's not like Christmassy if you ask me, but yeah, so they had all that in. I saw these nice um, dispensers and I thought they'd be cute for a stocking filler. Um, and then down on the same aisle, they had all these different sort of Christmas socks. And they also had some Christmas pyjamas as well. So I thought I'd include those. So if you need any, then I'd get down there ASAP because we all know that they will go out of stock quickly. Next was the homeware aisle. And oh my goodness, how cute are those gnome cushions? And then they had these beautiful like Borg um cushions lots of olive tones green tones yeah such lovely stuff in at the moment um they also had like a checkered blanket that i really really liked um and reasonably priced as well so yeah definitely go and have a look in there they also had some christmas bits in there as well so you've got the naughty nice cushion and i've actually seen on other people's that you flick it around it says i've been very nice which i think is fantastic for a kid's room they also had all the Christmas scents in, which are like perfect for stocking fillers. I think for your mum, your nan, your auntie, whoever. Um, Secret Santa's always a good one to go with scents. Um, they did have the new Fabulosa wax melts in. Not gonna lie, had a quick whiff. Wasn't the biggest fan. Um, I think there's better ones there. And also this little cute wax melter. I really regret not getting it now, but yeah, super cute stuff in really nice pink retro stuff in i know it's not christmas but i really thought it was lovely especially this vase um yeah i just loved it so on the homeware aisles they had like different sections there was like a woodland sort of section which is very christmassy i think um and also like they called it homestead i think um yeah it was beautiful um I just loved the woodland range for like Christmas. They also had their fluffy Christmas bedding in, quite reasonably priced I think, um, and I think they'll go out of stock quickly. So yeah, if you're looking for anything like that, then i definitely head down there as soon as possible. Then they had their like Christmas stocking aisles, just so many sweets, like ridiculous amount of chocolate stocking fillers that you may need. I also included some snips of some like stocking fillers for older girls that uh, you might need. I've got a nine-year-old and I knew that she would love like the face mask kit, the bubble bath kit, all those sort of things. Um, so yeah, just showing you some bits that they had in that I think was fabulous for stocking fillers. And can we just appreciate how cute these money banks are? Like a little Scotty dog, like little animals. So, so cute. Next up, we have got the best bit, the Christmas decorations. And when I say they have outdone themselves, they really have like... The reefs were beautiful. This red theme is right up my sort of theming of Christmas. I do red, white, um, and yeah, it was just gorgeous, some of the stuff they had in. So I am obsessed with nutcrackers. I've got two at the moment, I think, a big one and a small one, and they have some absolute crackers of nutcrackers in there, like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were so cute, so reasonably priced. So yeah, if you love a nutcracker like me, definitely get down there. In there, they had like this sort of, like more natural white 
wooden theme. Um, as you can see, the baubles were absolutely beautiful. They had like glass ones with, I don't even know what they had in them. You can see them, what are they called? Like, I don't know, but yeah, they were reasonably priced. Like some of these decorations were like £1.50. So yeah, absolutely love them. And then I told you I love a nutcracker. Um, and how gorgeous is this nutcracker with the fur boots? I mean, Maeve was getting right in there with the fur. Um, I'm gonna go back for him nearer the Christmas, I think. Yeah, definitely am. And then we had more like stocking fillers for, yeah, again, older kids. I thought these were great for if you had boys as well, like they've got all the Pokemon stuff, the Mandalorian stuff in. And then, yeah, the most beautiful like wrapping paper, like, like that very sort of rustic recycled paper look. I mean, how beautiful is that bag? So the next theming really makes me want to change my theme in my house. It was absolutely gorgeous. It's pink, it's glitter, it's beautiful though. Like it's not tacky at all. Maybe that glowing gnome is a little bit tacky, but a little bit tack at Christmas. It's all right, isn't it? I mean, look how beautiful that wreath is. Like the attention to detail in that stuff is just gorgeous. Um, they also had like some little mushrooms in glass baubles like it was just honestly if you are quite a girly girl you need to go down there and get your fix and then we had the more i would say like the kids sort of section um so the more fun stuff you've got like doormats tablecloths um soap dispensers just yeah everything that you may need for like your kids um absolutely reasonably priced these placemats were like it was an eight pack for four pounds and then you have like the plastic ones which i believe were bamboo as well so they're like good for the environment and all that um they also had like <laughs> going a bit too far but the toilet cover which i just thought was low so i thought i'd include that as well um, and all the stocking fillers. So I was really tempted to get this baby one because obviously I'm going to be having another one soon. And then they had these little glow balls um, that I had to show you what they did um, because Maeve, my youngest, was absolutely loving life. Maeve, look at this one. <laughs> And now we've had that little cute segment, we're back on with the um, Christmas tableware. They had these beautiful hand-painted, I don't know if they're hand-painted, but they looked at um, mugs and cups. And they really reminded me of anthropology, is it? I've seen similar stuff on their website, but obviously, I mean, probably a fraction of the price. Loved these bowls, so, so beautiful. Um, I think I actually prefer this better than the other stuff that they have in. I know a lot of it's been circling on, instagram youtube but yeah i think this is a lot nicer i mean how cute is that coat stand little santa's boots um and these little measuring cut things it's just honestly they've really upped their game this year like i feel like i'm in an american shop when i'm in there and then they obviously had all their standard gnome things they had these really beautiful um dishwasher what are they called tea cloths you know what I mean, that would fit in like different aesthetics. And then, yeah, just these beautiful plates. I thought these were really nice for Christmas day. And I think you've probably seen these circling, but yeah, they had those tumblers in um, with the robin that was really cute, like your more traditional sort of Christmas stuff. So guys, we're coming up to the end of the video. Um, I absolutely love Christmas. And I think B&M have truly outdone themselves this year. So yeah, head you, get yourself, head yourself, get yourself down to B&M. Have a look around. And if you love Christmas like me, then just go there. Even if you've got no money, just go in there and soak all the Christmas and stuff. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please hit that subscribe button and give this video a huge thumbs up. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.